Hey, hi everyone. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, Ailey, how you doing? All right, Dave. Hey, it's lovely to see you all. Welcome to this number fun nugget. Hey. We're here to help you have loads of fun and do some super cool mathematics at home or at school. Oh, hey, yeah, Dave. Yes. Why have we got these ridiculous goggles on? <laughs> I don't know. It gets a bit sillier every time we come on. I said fractures, Dave, not scuba diving. <laughs> We are, we're doing fractions today. In fact, we're going to do some counting in fractions and reason off the back of it. I look ridiculous. <laughs> you do look ridiculous. Go on, have one of your head flicks. Whoa, it's gone. <laughs> it is. It's gone. So we're going to do some fractions. So let's get on with it straight away. Here's your nugget rhyme, Ailey. What's it say? It, it says, what's the story? What does it look like? What do I need to know? What can we reason? What's the challenge? Half an hour to go. Hey. <laughs> it doesn't say half an hour to go. It does, Dave. <laughs> well, it, <laughs> well, it does on that little card down there to remind me of what to say. I mean, hold on, it's me who says it. Oh, that's true. I remind you of what to say. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Uh, it's not half an hour to go. It's wait before you go, because what's going to happen is at the end of the program, I'm going to give you a little challenge, and then I'm going to encourage you to go and do it. And then before you go... Well, you can pause the video and then just watch the little bit at the end where we give a little bit of a solution, the answers to our challenges. So, Dave, should we get on with it? <laughs> Let's get on with it. Here we go. Part one. What's the story? What's the story, Dave? Well, the story is we're going to count in halves. So have you got a story about counting in halves for us? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good then. On my planet. Oh, your Eric. That's your planet, Eric. Yeah. Um, what happened? Well, I was waiting to come here, Dave. Were you waiting to come to Earth? Yeah. For a spaceship. Okay, so what happened as you were waiting for the spaceship? Well, uh, I had to count time, Dave. Oh, d oh did you? And, and how did you count? In half hours. In half hours. Oh, that's what we have on our planet. We have hours and half hours. We have my Eric, too. Oh, we invented them. Uh, oh, you nicked it. <laughs> oh, we nicked it, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, so what happened then? I was waiting, waiting for the spaceship. Waiting for the spaceship. And what did you count? Half an hour. Hour. Hour and a half. Two hours, two and a half hours, three, three and a half hours, and it carried on like that, did it? It did indeed. Okay, so you count it like that. Well, that's interesting, because I, I count in halves in a different way, because I do lots of running and sport, and I've got quite a lot of these half-litre bottles. Can you hold that for a minute? Got it. <laughs> and I've got, there's another one there, and I've got another one here. So I'm, I count in one half, two halves, three halves, etc. So I count like that. I count in halves. That's interesting, though. So they're both two different ways of doing it. So, of counting in halves. Part three. What do I need to know? Hold on, where's part two? <laughs> One thing is, I'm going to do part two before part, uh, uh, part three. I'm going to do part three before we do part two. Why? Well, because I think you need to know something before we can actually picture it properly. Oh. Play the video then, Dave. Okay, here it is. When we write a number like this as a fraction, it has a numerator and a denominator. The denominator is the number of equal parts the whole has been split into. The numerator is the number of equal parts that we're focusing on or that we have. So let's sort these fractions out. I'm going to sort them into vulgar fractions and mixed fractions. Now these have got other names. So vulgar fractions are sometimes called simple fractions or common fractions. Mixed fractions are sometimes called mixed number or mixed numbers. This is a vulgar fraction and a vulgar fraction is simply a fraction which has a numerator and a denominator. All of these have just a numerator and denominator. A mixed fraction or a mixed number has a combination of a whole and a fraction part. So those two are mixed numbers or mixed fractions. I'm going to lay those to one side and I'm going to partition all of my vulgar fractions or my common or simple fractions. I'm going to sort them into two different groups. I'm going to put in one circle proper fractions and one circle improper fractions. Proper fractions are where the numerator is less than the denominator. An improper fraction is where the numerator is greater than the denominator. That's definitely improper. That's improper. That's improper. And those are proper. So I have four proper fractions and four improper fractions. I can also partition these fractions into what we call unit fractions and non-unit fractions. 
a unit fraction is where the numerator is 1. A non-unit fraction is where the numerator is greater than 1. So I need to move this one into this hoop and this one into that hoop as well because these have a numerator greater than 1. These two are unit fractions because the numerator is 1. Let's do some counting in fractions. I've got some eighths here. Uh, these are on the back of some dominoes. And, well, let's count the number of eighths that we've got. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, eight eighths, nine eighths, and ten eighths, etc. We're counting in vulgar fractions, or simple or common fractions. We're just saying how many eighths there are. Well, the thing is, I have an alternative. I know that two eighths is actually a quarter. I can simplify it. Four eighths is a half. Three, well, six eighths is three quarters. And eight eighths is one. And over here now I'm into mixed fractions or mixed number land. Because nine eighths is actually one and an eighth. And ten eighths is one and a quarter. So I could count like this. An eighth, one quarter. Three eighths a half, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, one, one and an eighth, one and a quarter. Well, that's very cool, Dave. Goodness me, a lot of teaching there. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a lot, wasn't it? But we're getting our brain around what type of fractions there are, and particularly I'm picking up on vulgar fractions and mixed fractions, because they're the two types of fractions I really want you to understand, because we're going to actually use them in, those in a minute and contrast them. So... Part two. What does it look like? Comes off to part three, Dave. <laughs> it's just today. So here's a little video to... This is about what it really looks like if you use fraction circles. Let's count in halves. One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, seven halves, eight halves, nine halves, ten halves. Let's count in mixed fractions. Half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, Four, four and a half, five. Let's put both types of counting together. One half, half two one, halves, three and a half, four two, halves, two and a half, halves, three six halves, three and a half, eight four, halves, nine four and a half, half, ten five. halves. Let's count in quarters. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters, seven quarters, eight quarters, nine quarters. 10 quarters, 11 quarters, 12 quarters, 13 quarters, 14 quarters, 15 quarters, 16 quarters. Let's count in mixed fractions. Quarter, half, three quarters, one, one and a quarter, one and a half, one and three quarters, two, two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, three, three and a quarter, three and a half, three and three quarters, four. Let's try both counts. Quarter, one quarter, half, two quarters, three quarters, quarters four one, quarters, five one and a quarter, six one and a half, quarters, one seven three quarters, quarters eight two, quarters, two and a quarter, ten two and a half, half eleven three quarters, quarters, twelve three, quarters, three and a quarter, four and a half, fifteen three, three quarters, quarters, sixteen four. quarters. Brilliant. Oh, Dave, my brain's hurting, mate. <laughs> well, it's just two different ways of doing it. I like the vulgar one, <laughs> you know, do you? Because that's the easy one. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters. I could do that one. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, what are in the song we're just about to play then, you can play the character who does that. What's she called? The Countess of, Vol the Countess of Fractions from Russia. Oh, and who are you going to play? Well, I'm going to play um, Count Mixter. He's the Count of Fractions from uh, Italy, and he uh, he actually uh, counts in mixed fractions. Oh, is that what I look like, Dave? <laughs> My name is Volga, Volga Fractions, the Countess of Fractions from Russia. My name is Mixta, Mixta Fractions, the Count of Fractions from Italia. Yo! You must be a Russian spy! And you, you're nothing more than a pizza. 
show me how to count in fractions. This is how we count in a vulgar fraction. Help me, comrades. Ha! Two ha! Three ha! A four ha! Five ha! Six ha! Seven ha! Eight ha! This is how we count in mixed fractions. Help me, pizza lovers. Half. One. One and a half. Two. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Four. I am. The fractions, the count of fractions from Italia. So we both count in fractions. Let us count in half together. The count of fractions from Italia. Magnifico! Let us count in the quarters. Oh, yes, let's. I can't wait. One quarter. A quarter. Two quarters. Half. Three quarters. Three quarters. Four quarters. One. Five quarters. One and a quarter. Six quarters. One and a half. Seven quarters. One and three quarters. Eight quarters. Two. Nine quarters. Two and a quarter. Ten quarters. My name is Mixta, Mixta Fractions, the count of fractions from Italia. Now it is time to count in thirds. I love any thirds, they are so... But, comrade, why do you have pepperoni and a mushroom on your head? Italian fashion, my friend. Come to Italy, and I will introduce you to Madrasa. No, comrade, no. You look ridiculous. Bit like me at the beginning of the programme then, Dave. <laughs> yeah, it looked a bit ridiculous. I like it, Dave. It, it, I suppose it's a bit easier when one person does the vulgar fractions and then the next person does the mixed fractions. In fact, it works really well in, as, a, as an activity, if you like, in the classroom there, when half the class are counting in one type of fraction, the other half in the other half. It's a great way of doing it, Ailey, isn't it? Oh, I love it, Dave. Right. Count four. What can we reason? Well, the thing is, if we 
can count in fractions confidently like that. I think it can really help us with some other bits of mathematics. Like what? Well, I'm going to show you an example right now. OK, here's a bit of reasoning. I've got three and a half divided by a half. Now, I'm used to counting in fractions, and I think that can help. Come and have a look. I've got three holes and a half, and I'm thinking, how many halves in three and a half? One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves, six halves, and seven halves. So my quotient is seven. Let's try another one. I've got one and a half divided by a quarter. And the grouping picture says, how many quarters in one and a half? I can do that. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, four quarters, five quarters, six quarters. There's six quarters in one and a half. So my quotient is six. So you're counting your vulgar fractions, Dave? I am. I'm just literally saying well, how many fractions there are. Makes sense. <laughs> it does indeed. So that's one of the reasons why we learn to actually count in fractions. Part five. What's the challenge? What's the challenge, Dave? Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you guys uh, some pictures, and your job is to interpret the calculation. Um, these fraction circles that I'm using there, I'm going to show you in a minute where you can get, or well, a few moments, where you can get them from, because uh, they're on the Number Fun portal, and they are so good for working with fractions. I love it. So here's some pictures. What's going on there, Dave? Well, if you look at the top left-hand corner, I've actually pictured the calculation one and three quarters divided by a quarter. How many quarters in one and three quarters? That's absolutely, that's exactly. And that's where we've got to work out the quotient. So the one underneath that says two and a half divided by a half. I can do that, Dave. Counting in halves. <laughs> absolutely. Top, top right hand corner, one and three quarters divided by a half. A little bit trickier. A little bit trickier, that one, but you can do it. And the one under that, one and a half divided by a sixth. Cool. <laughs> we can do that, can't we? We can do that, Dave. That's challenge one. And um, what's challenge two? Well, under, well, challenge two is at the bottom there. It says, how might you count in sixths? So I've, I'm going to show you a video in a few moments where we can actually try and do that together. But your challenge is, how would you do it? Can you work it out? So if you're counting in sixths, you start sixth. What would you go next? You could do two, six, three, six, four, six. But I'm going to challenge you to go mixed fractions or mixed numbers. So it'll be sixth, third, Half, maybe. See if you can work out how to build that up. So those are the challenges. Oh, I love them, Dave. <laughs> okay. They're absolutely. So um, off the back of this program, if you want to check out our, well, email us, basically, how you're getting on. And the, there's some notes that go alongside this little particular show at that uh, address at the top up there. I'm actually going to just toggle to the uh, parent portal, the number fun portal, and all the songs on there. So the Council Fraction songs there, and the parent notes that go alongside it. If you click on there and download those, listen, there's just oodles of counting fraction cards and game cards with pictures and thong, uh, and the two Council Fraction people there. And at the bottom, I've just got, oh, fraction circles, I love them, Dave. They're really worth printing out and, and playing with. I tend to print them out on different colour paper. So if you have that facility, that could be really, really cool. So... Um, I hope that helps. And we, in a few moments, Ailey and I will be back with uh, half an hour to go. <laughs> no, wait before you go, where we'll give you some answers, our answers to these particular little questions that we've given you today. So I hope you've um, found it helpful. Stretch your brain a bit. <laughs> it certainly might have stretched your brain if you can. Uh, yeah, I hope that it's been helpful, though, and help you understand what we're doing. So here we go. Here is the uh, reasoning challenges for today. My brain hurts, Dave. <laughs> well, at least you've got your, your pineapple glasses on, your learning glasses. I've learned loads. <laughs> That's really good. My brain's spinning. <laughs> Let's be quiet now. Let's give these guys a chance to have a go at working those out. 94. <laughs> That's not the answer to one of those questions. Part six. Wait before you wait go. Wait before you go. <laughs> hey, half an hour to go. No, it's not. still not half an hour to go. It's wait before you go. Here's just a few thoughts then. I don't wonder how you got on with those little questions. Here's how we, what we thought. That's one and three quarters divided by a quarter. The first one means how many quarters are one and three quarters? Well, there's four in that hole. Five, six, seven. I think the quotient's seven, Dave. It is indeed. So that's the answer to that one. Let's go to the next one. Two and a half divided by a half. How many halves in two and a half? 
One half, two halves, three halves, four halves, five halves. I think that's a quotient of five. Oh, Australian version there, Dave. <laughs> was, wasn't it? Let's go for the next one. One and three quarters divided by half. A bit trickier. It's a bit trickier. So how many halves can you fit in? I can definitely fit three halves in. And a quarter is actually half of a half. So actually, how many halves can I fit in? I can fit three and a half halves in. God, that's a bit odd. It's not, it's not, it, was, it wasn't difficult to see, was it? No. How many sixes can you fit in a hole? Six. That's right. So there's six sixths in there. And then there's three more sixths fit in the half. Oh, nine then, Dave. Absolutely. So the quotient is nine. Brilliant. And here's the counting of six then. One sixth, third, half, two thirds, five sixths, one. One and a sixth. One and a third, one off. One and two thirds, one and five sixth, two. Two and a sixth, two and a third, two and a half, two and two thirds, two and five sixth, three. <laughs> three and a sixth, three and a third, three and a half, three and two thirds, three and five sixth, four. My word, Dave, that was clever. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I'm glad you liked it. You did really well there. <laughs> So there we are. We can count the six like that. So you can count the mixed fractions or vulgar fractions. And I think it can help us with our reasoning. So join us again. Uh, we're going to be looking, what are we going to do next time? I haven't got a clue, Dave. <laughs> you haven't got a clue. Uh, we're going to be doing some sense of number stuff, actually. Um, we're going to be doing a bit of that um, looking tomorrow, which I'm quite excited about. Actually. It's going to be really cool. So bless you. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's programmes and we'll see you soon. Oh, there's the answers, Dave. Yeah, yeah, I've given them the answers now. We've told them what's what's going on. Oh, there's your music, Dave. <laughs> it is the music. Yeah, bye, bye, everyone. See you soon. Why do I keep looking ridiculous, Dave? You put me in stupid stuff. Well, I think it just makes it fun and interesting. Oh, I love maths, though, Dave. Oh, so do I. <laughs>